this is Catherine and Tanya. Thank you for joining us. And today we're doing a reading for the month of September. And we are doing the reading over the zodiac sign of Cancer. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Well, first of all, there were some cards that came out um, mm -hmm. before we started recording. Just mm -hmm. didn't want to start the whole thing over. And that is, the first card out was number 13, Release. That's right. This is the death card. Okay. In the traditional tarot. So, you're going through a transition of some sort. Mm-hmm. Your, yes. ov your overall energy is the king of spring or the king of wands. Mm-hmm. And this release here, it's about letting go of the past. And um, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. And it's time to move on. There's a repetitive message with there, with that. Yeah, the, you know, to make way for what's coming in is your soulmate. Uh -huh. Your soulmate may already be in your energy, mm -hmm. um, but you're going to have to release your ex first. That's right. And even if you have not been with this person in quite some time, right? you know, if, if things are already over, energetically you still need to... Um, Cut, cut those cords. cords of attachment with that ex because if not then you're going to continue to feel that in new relationships that that's the way it's going to be right, right. so you've got well, to you've and got not to only that too but connections. they tend to um, cause a lot of outside conflict mm -hmm. even if you know subconsciously or not you know right because those attachments are creating expectations and that's what it is you're expect you're going to continue to expect that you know other your other relationships are going to be this way and they're not you're not and then you're cutting yourself off from the blessings that come in with a new beautiful uh, soulmate relationship just like this one that's over here there in from the romance angels passion it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy you've got you've got this soulmate in your energy you've got this soulmate and your prayers and affirmations and visualizations bring you together i feel like it's a prayer that's answered it is definitely a prayer that's answered mm -hmm. um you know you have you have a dis divine spark within you mm -hmm. it, it's a seed right now but it's growing you know that's one thing about the king of wands yeah very passionate very creative um you know that that's what you got going on right now you just need to take it and run with it that's right um don't be afraid to ask for for help oh. from others yes and so as far as releasing your ex one thing that we we do a lot uh even since we've been in the union as twins is the violet flame uh -huh. and it cuts cords it transmutes karma it provides psychic protection yes we do it every day every day you know like yeah we miss a day every now and then but mm -hmm. we try to do it every day because it's not just for your exes it's for your ex their family their friends your friends, your family, it cuts all negative cords of attachment. Yes. And oh, you okay. need to do this on a daily basis yes. um, <clears throat> because these things take time. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, our, our ex's energy can haunt us for literally years to come without us even realizing it. That's true. That is true. Oh, what were they getting here with the peace offering? That. Oh, this is change. This is talking about Big this soulmate yes. that's either here or coming in. So we got peace off offering, take charge of the situation, yes. and freedom. As you re release your ex, yes. do your energy work, your mm -hmm. psychic protection, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what's going to give you your freedom. That's right. That's right. Oh, wow. They're flying out. So... My question was, is this a divine partner or a twin flame? And so we got big happy changes, opportunity, and you're ready. 
Mm -mm. So this soulmate that's either here there or coming are. in for you mm -hmm. is absolutely a life partner. Wow. That's beautiful. And that, that is, there's so much that of is that beautiful. Yes. happening right now. Yes. That we've noticed working with our clients. Right. And it's just amazing to see all these karmic cycles being, you know, being broken. Yes. And being, being healed. Do your healing work, honey, because it's a beautiful life coming for you. It's a beautiful life. It's right in front of you, but it's up to you. You are the one calling the shots, and you are the one that's going to block yourself from it, too. If you can't do that inner work and do that self-healing, okay, you're worth it. You're worth it. You've been through some stuff, Cancer. And, and you this are soulmate, positive change. The soulmate coming in mm -hmm. is, a, is a perfect match. So we now we have mm -hmm. the king of wands and we have the queen of wands. And we have the nine, nine of pentacles. Wow. That is a very independent, strong, um, mm -hmm. you know, feminine energy right there. So let's see... Cancer, cancer, cancer. Mm. The, your challenge throughout this is, and I know this is sometimes an ongoing problem for Cancerians, is the Seven of Swords, not lying, cheating, stealing, but self-sabotage. Mm. All right? Yeah. But that could be because they're being too stubborn to in, in releasing things, you know? It could be. In the past, you were in a karmic style. situation. Ooh, yeah. You know, it, it was a past life relationship. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of confusion. There was, um, you know, not everything was as it seems. That's how karmic relationships typically work. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Persistence. And, you know, you're going to have this little... This little budding romance with this Aww. soulmate mm -hmm. that's going to grow. Because you're not giving up. Right. You have a wish a wish granted. Oh, wow. That's a repetitive message. Woo! And I'm getting chills. Cancer, don't let this go by. Don't let it go by. You're ready to take a leap of faith. That's right. You're ready. So ready that you can't stop. Ta you, can't you can't really stop thinking about that's it. That's right. So act on it, honey. You're worth that. Working very hard. King of Wands out again. Mm -hmm. in your environment so you know whether you're the the king or the queen doesn't really matter it's a perfect match and yes one is you and one is your person of in interest here mm -hmm. hopes and fears not a pinnacle this is a solid offer it's a solid offer wow you know it may be kind of slow coming Five of Swords. Why are you out here, Five of Swords? Uh oh. You're conflicted oh. over which path to take. And that's because you need to do your inner work and release your ex, release any expectations of the past coming and, into your future. Uh, yeah, as you as you spend time meditating mm -hmm. and going within, right. you're cutting cords, you're doing your energy work, you're clearing your chakras. This all brings clarity right. to the situation. That's right. You know, and this, this inner conflict, mm -hmm. th it's going to go away. It's it, just, yeah. it's mental energy. It's, yeah. you know. It, get out of your head and get into your heart. And, and as you do your healing, the knowing it is in the healing. And it will happen. Final outcome you're, you're going through an enlightenment yep. cancer. Of course. You're looking at things from a totally different perspective Good. with the hangman. This is, not, this is not something that's on pause. This is literally you are going through your awakening. Mm -hmm. If you've already been through an awakening, which most of you probably have, you're going through, you know, uh, the next stage of awakening. I mean, how many awakenings do we really truly go through? You know, there's the first initial one, mm -hmm. but th there's always many more to come. You know, just like surrenders. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Look, 
this person of interest is just as ready as you are. So, speaking of, yeah, the person of interest, let's see what they're thinking. Yes. So, in the final outcome, again, with the, the star card, this person is going to provide healing mm -hmm. for you. This is divine timing. This is your wish, you know, your wish come true. Wow. Don't self-sabotage. Exactly. Exactly. Person mm -hmm. Cancer's person of interest, they are waiting for you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for you, waiting for the exactly ships to come in. Right. Um, looking out into the distance, mm -hmm. where's Cancer? Exactly. Why aren't they here yet? Exactly. You know, maybe the Nine of Pentacles are moving a little slow. They want to make sure they cross all their T's and dot all their I's, which right. they're doing. Right. But and... These two cards just came out. Uh-oh. So, you have the Queen of Swords. You have to cut things out that don't belong in your That's life anymore. That's right. They no longer serve you. Because once you, do, once you do that, then mm -hmm. then you have the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Whether you're the Knight or your person of interest is the Knight, mm -hmm. you know, there is love to be offered here. And this is a love that you don't want to pass That's up. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, because this, this is your one, lifetime partner. Yeah, this is a life partner. Mm-hmm. Let's see if Archangel Michael has any addition. Are you getting any channel messages for no, cancer what besides people. what's... Right. It's pretty clear, actually. Right. And a lot of... That the person is... This is the, like, this is the cycle, the way things are cycling That's through right. right now. Exactly. You know, you... For all the signs. Mm-hmm. Um, you go through your karmic lessons... You release your ex, release your past, and then you have a divine coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, whether, whatever it is, but what's coming in are really no longer um, karmics or, or karmic catalysts or karmic soulmates. These are people that, you know what, you've done your work, you've That's learned your right. lessons. That's right. This is what you've attracted, and you're worth it. Right. So this is what you've it's attracted time. in self-worth. And in your self love, exactly. Yep. It says this is your life's purpose. Wow. So, okay, whatever it is, whenever the two of you come together, there's something that you're going in to be doing yes. together. So, whether it's a twin flame or divine partner, right? It's all the same thing, right? And whenever you come together, you're gonna come together for a reason. Right. And that is for, you know. Either a to, business or your. your something boat. to do with spirituality. Yes. Light working. Yes. Um, you know, whatever and the that's case. That's what you're gonna be, partners do. You're going to be of service. Mm -hmm. They to, collaborate together. Yes. Capture, capture. Self-respect. Mm -hmm. That's self-love. You know. Yes. Um, yes. Love yourself yeah. enough to know that you deserve this divine this partner coming, that's waiting for this, you. Yeah, that that's is waiting for you. That that is uh, that has also gone through this healing. That is also um, in this uh, release and is in their self love and self worth and in that surrender of you know what, giving it to God and um, having a prayer to ans uh, an answer prayer and that is you you are that to each other and for each other don't and let this go get by you the message that we've channeled uh we channeled earlier and that we've really been channeling for a while mm -hmm. is that these divine unions are coming in yeah. over the next couple of years you know if you have done your work yes um this is here for you mm -hmm. it's time you know it's time for it's go time it's just you know, you've done your work, you're going to get your reward. Period. Right. right. End of story. That's right. You know, and it's happening for, it's happening for all the signs, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's like a, it's like a cyclical thing. Like, you know, this time it might be like Leo, Cancer, and they, what was the other one already? Capricorn, I think. Right. 
Capricorn um, was good, yeah. Yeah, and it, but these things, these things are coming in hard and fast. They a lot are. of our clients have already come into union. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Don't don't let us don't don't um don't hesitate and don't be in fear. Mm -mm. So let's see what else we got here. Empathy and compassion. That that's cancer in a nutshell, really. Um, right. Very empathic, very compassionate. Yes. <clears throat> the sole lesson is here for this month of September is loneliness i know that i'm never alone and you're not ever alone never you know like you i guess i'm trying to think of how to how to say it for some of you guys maybe you feel like that you're alone because this person hasn't shown up yet but you've done your work you're never alone because Spirit is all around you. Spirit is with you. That's and right. And your prayers, your requests have been answered. Right. And this is not something that's going to be, you know, like so far off in the field. Oh, it could be years. No, it's not going to be years. No, it's right in front of you. No, this is going to be by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. It's going to be by the end of the year for most of you guys. Mm -hmm. And that is just... Beautiful. So it's up to you. It is up to you. But I know most of you guys have already done the work. Mm -hmm. You know? Again, empathy. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything. The crystal wow. angels. Yeah, a lot of, most of the signs have just gotten repetitive messages. They have. Um throughout the reading mm -hmm. and I know in the past that cancer has been you know they tend to self-sabotage we all do at some mm -hmm. point we're very guarded you know but like I said it's cyclical so mm -hmm. we're all you know we're learning these lessons we're evolving we're growing yes and this time around cancer it's this is it's your show time yep what is this Malachi prosperity, prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Look yeah. at that. And another... Beautiful, beautiful. Another mm -hmm. um, repetitive message we have. Oh, Garnet. yes. Purification and detoxification. You have to detoxify... Um, your energy, yes. your surroundings. I, your, just, I cannot stress enough how yes, important this is. Yes, it is. You know, it's, it's important... We're already we've already been in union for a while and we still have to do this every day. Right. You know, I mean right. the people just pop up in your energy without you really even realizing it. Mm -hmm. So it's just very, very important to practice, you know a daily mm -hmm. a daily spiritual practice that includes mm -hmm. psychic protection, um, working on your chakras. Energy healing, right. Energy healing right yeah it's so important because if not That's you okay. might get stuck in this this same old cycle of exactly before you even realize it exactly and the lapis lazuli look at that life-changing epiphany or experience it's it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way look at that that is so beautiful Lapis lazuli, it's blue. So this is the connection to the throat chakra. And if you don't know about stones or crystals, um, you can wear uh, this uh, this stone, the lapis lazuli. It is a beautiful stone. Um, wear it on your body or close somewhere close to your throat. You can wear it as a pendant. Um, earrings if you wear earrings um or just uh, have it you know charge it with the intention lapis the soul with the throat chakra is about expression so if you have any blocks about speaking your truth right and speaking uh, from your heart um and, for, and being authentic and through your authenticity lapis the soul will do it um and Malachite is um, 
uh, is a green stone and that is good for, um, it's connected to your heart chakra as well. So that prosperity comes in through your self-love and self-worth, right? So, um, wow. One final message. Okay. And for most of you guys, like I said, this person is going to, you know, this union is going to happen before mm -hmm. the end of the year. It's, it really is almost the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, you, but you have to remember to let go and surrender. Wow. So don't put the energy out there mm -hmm. that, you know, you don't put your expectation out there that it's going to have to happen by this time. Right. Most of you guys, it will happen by this time. Right. But unless you surrender and completely let go right. of all the expectations, you may be blocking this from coming in. That's right. That's right. That's why you've got to just release. Just release and surrender it. And when, it we, when we went through our surrender mm -hmm. and our, you know, our letting go and letting God, we were mm -hmm. in union within two months. That's right physical union yeah mm -hmm. so all right cancer i think this is a better reading than some of the previous cancer they did their work this time yeah they did their work this time mm -hmm. they're not playing around anymore mm -hmm. like okay fine i'll show y'all what <laughs> exactly watch what i can do <laughs> <laughs> congratulations cancer it's there in front of you don't mess it up you got it <laughs> all right so all right. please uh like and subscribe if you feel called to do so, if you'd like a private reading, you can yes. reach out to us at our Gmail account, TwinFlameMystique1111 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Or at our website. Or our website. Uh, did I say that right? Yes. Gmail.com. <laughs> it's, it's late. I'm tired. TwinFlameMystique1111.com. Um, it's really easy to read. Yes. Yes. So, so all right. All right, Cancerians. Well, thank you, a, guys. Yes. Have a blast evening or morning wherever you are at. Thank you.